If you want to build high-performance websites or make your very first website, this course is for you. Throughout this course and the following courses, you will recognize how AMP pages differ from traditional websites and build a sample project piece by piece using real AMP components and best practices. You will also learn strategies for building modern websites. To get the most from these courses, you should have a basic understanding of HTML and CSS. If you're able to recognize HTML and CSS, and you can make minor edits to existing HTML and CSS, you're ready for this course. This course does not require knowledge of JavaScript. That said, you will need basic knowledge of JavaScript for the intermediate and advanced courses. In this course, we will use an online code editor called Glitch. Though you don't have to, we recommend that you use Glitch to complete the course exercises. We've provided you the sample code and solutions for the exercises in Glitch repositories. If you choose another editor, you may still need to access Glitch samples to copy the CSS and the server code into your local solution. The Glitch code editor environment looks like this. The red box you see here is the online editor. You will type HTML and CSS in this box. The green box shows the button that will bring up the live version of the page you're creating. The yellow box is the button that lets you create a copy of this project and edit it. The blue box indicates the files you have. Let's start with the basic HTML page. We've created an empty project for you in Glitch. It contains images, server code, which you'll need later, and an index file with a title and an image. Open the project and click the Remix button located on the top right. This will create a new project you can edit. Glitch keeps your images in a folder called Assets. You will need these images to complete the exercises. To view the images in your project, click the Assets entry in the list of files on the left. To get the link to any single image, select the image from the list of assets on the right-hand side, click the Copy button next to the URL in the pop-up that appears. This will give you a link to that image. You can now use that link wherever you want to use that image. This course starts with the repository whose URL is given to you in the video description. It contains assets and server code used in future exercises. Soon you'll notice that Glitch names things with cute adjectives and nouns like nosy leech. Updated links to Glitch repos will be provided at the beginning and end of each course. This will give you an opportunity to start with a clean version of the solution that you've developed to that point. The AMP Validator is a tool to detect errors in your AMP pages. The AMP Validator automatically runs on all AMP pages. It's convenient to use this via a Chrome extension. You can get the extension at the link in your video description. Or, to enable the built-in AMP Validator, add hash development equals one at the end of your AMP page URL and open the developer console in your browser to see the results. There are other ways to validate AMP pages, we just think that the Chrome extension is the most convenient of them all. Almost all of the exercises in this course will require you to use AMP components. You can always search for help on amp.dev. We will learn much more about AMP components and documentation as this course progresses. Mm -hmm.